Hi everyone, it's Lawrence here, and I'm, I'm here with... Andrine. And how old are you, Andrine? Six. Good. She turned seven in two weeks. That's why we got to film before she turns seven, because we can say on YouTube, six-year-old lesson. Looks better. All right, so let's get straight into it. She's currently on grade number three, and we'll do some scales, hand and training, and then her set repertoire. So usually a music student would do three pieces a week. Is that right, Andrine? Great. So let's start. She's doing arpeggios. And let's do the first one. So let's flip back. So you're doing grade five scales, which is really cool. Grade three student doing grade five scales. So she's not doing arpeggios, I take it back. She's doing similar motion. Let's do B flat major, both hands. She's saying the fingering. So we teach our kids to actually say the turns out loud. And that's how you get the fingering correct. So next let's do, I'm gonna make it harder. G harmonic minor, left hand, crescendo and decrescendo. So when you start soft, I wanna see you lean in. When you go louder, I wanna see you lean back. That's right. your body helps you crescendo and decrescendo, especially for a little girl like Andrine. Um, to let you know, she's really small. Okay, so Andrine, stand up over here so people can actually see how small she is. She is tiny, yeah? So she's got a pedal stool. She can't reach the floor, no way. And now hop on. And moving on, let's do G melodic minor, both hands loud. chromatic both hands crescendo and decrescendo Stay nice. the hard part is crescendoing without going faster right because when you go softer you actually want to slow down which you can't and moving on let's do e flat major right hand loud C harmonic minor, both hands soft. So you're building in the whole way. So two soft. Minor, loud, go. Even louder. Good. Just don't smack the last one, okay? No, yeah, da, 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 da. Boom. Yeah, boom. <laughs> Let's try coming down. Let's go. And then finger five. And finger one. Ready? Loud, go. Let's do E flat chromatic, both hands crescendo and decrescendo. Oh, so your left hand got stuck, yeah? So make sure you curve, lift those fingers high, go. I want you to do eight country motion scales. Now, because you're doing grade five scales, I need you to play them faster. But every day you add on two. Okay, so I don't expect you to play all eight scales straight away. Yeah? Just do two on the first day and add on. Oh, there's a baby in here. It's a baby. It's her, her little brother. All right, hop up. 
So, contrary motion scales, we got E major, do your right hand. Only two octaves, left hand. So three, four, three tones on both hands together. C sharp harmonic minor. This is a more difficult one. So make sure you flip to the page. You turn on three twice. Three. And then three again. But now you turn on. Give them a finger four. Five. Then. Three. Then. Five. And three. Then. Four. Then. Three. And then. Three. Good. Then. Left hand is four, three, four. And together. Push your hair out of the way. Unless people think you've got a crazy haircut. Okay, yeah. She usually looks like this, okay? She's just showing me her cool haircut today. And moving on, we've got B major or the black keys. Then three, four, three. Three, four, three. But left hand is that's why separate hands every day. To all you kids who want to just practice both hands, always do separate hands. Isn't that right, Andrine? Then. Then we've got G sharp harmonic minor. I'm going to put an asterisk on this one because it's a hard one. And we're going to flip to the page so I can show you how to do it. I'll be super impressed if you can pass it straight away next week. Do it for the YouTube fans, okay? <laughs> So separate hands, turn on three, but then turn on three again. But then we got four, and then back to? Three. Three, four, three. But left hand is the opposite. Da, 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 da. Left hand is? Four, four, three, three, four. four. Don't get tricked, everyone. So three, three, four, three. Three, four, three. But left hand is? Four, three, four. I'll give it. So we did four first, and I give them the fingers, and then back to, and both hands. Now what do you think? Do I expect you to play that fast on the first day? No. Obviously not, right? We're going to do it nice and slow, and over time it gets faster and faster. Okay, and the next few ones I won't flip for you. B flat major. G harmonic minor. Oh, by the way, G harmonic minor, everyone misses the four turn on the left hand. So make sure you're three, and then turn on four at the same time. And then three. So it'd be very funny if you come back and it's wrong. Then I'll say, ha ha, you should have watched the last YouTube video. Ha ha. Ha ha. And then left hand, E flat major, four, three, four. Right hand, four, three, four. Then C harmonic minor is? Three, four, three. On right hand, left hand, or both hands? Oh, you're so smart. Okay, hop on. So that's your eight scales. Moving on, let's do Hannon. Oh, we've got a baby squealing. And it's still squealing. The baby singing a symphony for us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and let's go. And If you do it very well, we play a game, right? So we've played all kinds of games with Endream. We've done catch and go. So this time we're going to play. Hmm. Okay, let's play slow and fast. Are you ready? Slow. Thank you. 
Some smelly stickers for you. Which sticker do you want? Um, this one. Really? You like the creaming soda? Yeah. Yes, creaming soda is so healthy for you. It definitely doesn't. Creaming soda. That it definitely like doesn't have a lot of. Shake. Definitely doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> drink it sometimes, but don't drink it all the time. I don't drink soda. <laughs> you don't drink soda. Okay, so make sure you're curved for number eight. Do your five times rule. Separate hands is key. And moving on, your second best friend is Cherny. Yeah, better go out. <laughs> Gotta take the baby out. All right, and moving on, we've got Cherny number 34. Let's go. Too. No. Okay, we can go a bit slower, so we don't have to stop. But the left hand has to be softer than the right. So let's try one more time. Let the right hand melody come out. Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now shape it. Check your notes. Now make a sound. Good. Now here you got tricks. This is not a G. This is actually a. Think about it. Yeah, it's a. Say it out loud. F. F. So notice when I teach her, I don't just tell her the answer, right? I always ask her because a lot of teachers make that mistake, and moms. <laughs> a lot of moms who know piano. It's an F. And that stops a child from using their brain, right? We want them to know how to read the notes themselves. So let's try. Now she knows it's an F. Go. One. Oh. Oh, do, do, do. oh mistake. she makes a mistake it's a new mistake right so of course I'm gonna have fun with it if she makes a mistake I'll make funny sounds she's a six-year-old right then she will laugh then you laugh <laughs> if she makes a mistake I go <gasps> oh I pretend I got attacked <gasps> and then she will usually laugh you like it right now right a lot, a lot of mums I notice and teachers who are more old school they will tell off a kid right Andrew mistake mistake and that stops the kid from having fun don't you agree Andrew Right, so it's a new mistake. You got to have the fun with it. I would say if the kid keeps making the same mistake over and over again, then you should be more strict. Agreed, Andrew? Give them a thumbs up if you agree. Great, because then you let the kid know. Okay, you can't keep making the same mistake. That's bad. Right, give them a thumbs down. Bad. Yeah, but if it's a new mistake, be be fun. Right, give them a thumbs up. Be fun with it. Don't be so mean. Okay, let's pass this one. I'm giving you a pineapple. It's time you have something more healthy. Oh yeah. You like, you like pineapples? No, I don't mean I like pineapples. <laughs> I don't know many kids who like pineapples. I don't like pineapples. You don't. Sam, am I right? Guess what? In Australia, we put pineapple on pizza. Mm. Yes, all our European YouTubers will be shocked. What? Pineapple on a pizza? <laughs> yeah, we love it here in Australia. All right, so this one is like a march. So the thing about Choni is he wrote these books to copy Beethoven. So Cherny was a student of Beethoven. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You know Beethoven? Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah. So, so Beethoven is a very famous composer. He wrote the famous. And 
later on a lot of very emotional and expressive works. So he wrote these pieces because uh, Choni wrote these exercises because before Beethoven was considered the hardest composer ever, right? Before Liszt and Chopin came along. So he wrote these exercises to teach students how to play Beethoven. Now, Beethoven loved the march style. So this one is a march. Ready? Is it very quick or is it not that quick? Not that quick. Because it's, it's a march. Speed. Exactly. So march for me, you're a soldier. Go, march. Good. Now, a quicker march. Yum, dum, 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 dum. Because all the soldiers have to march together, right? If you go too fast, the soldiers will whack each other. Because they can't march in time. And it'll be our fault, right? So ready? March for me. Go. March, get your arms, get the arms moving, go. Your soldier, soldier girl. You are a soldier girl. She is a soldier girl. And then here, march softer, go. She is a soldier girl. Now loud, big march. She's a soldier girl. She's a little soldier girl. Turn me into a soldier teacher next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hop on. My jokes are getting better. Number 35, next lesson. I know my older students will be thinking, no, Lawrence, your jokes are terrible. Now, we have a competition coming up, right? Yeah. And I want to show people how we practice them. So a lot of teachers make this mistake where at the lesson, they just test the student up to speed. Do we do that all the time? No, actually. So I give her challenges. For example, slow practice and fast. Three times slow, two times fast. And at the lesson, I'll test her slow practice to see if she did it correctly at home. So the first question, Andreen, is what speed was slow? Um, 100 one, and? 107. 70. Um, 78. Wait. Oh, you should know. Okay. So I guess mummy turns on the metronome, is that right? Yeah. At home. But it's important you know it too, because that tells me you turn it on yourself. Yeah. Tells me that you really have done it. A lot of students who haven't done it won't know what the slow speed is. Okay, so 177 is the slow speed I gave you. Let me take that speed out. 177. All right, let's go. So nice and slow, yeah? So in a very 20th century percussive piece like this, we do slow practice to work on the sta staccato. Good. And of course, we got the longer notes, the tenuto to accents. So it's the articulation we're looking for. And we always train the kids, when you do slow practice, look at the book. Good. A lot of kids will keep looking down, and over time, it gets worse and worse and worse. They start playing wrong notes. Is that right, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Great. So let's do the fast beat. <laughs> do you know your fast beat? What is it? One, no, it's... Um, 218. Okay, oh, she knows. All right, okay, I'll give you a high five for that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen her punching video. She's got good muscles. She's a little girl, but she hits like Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> What's Manny Pacquiao? He's a famous Lati uh, Filipino boxer. Wait, Filipino? Yeah. Yeah, you're Filipino. You should know Manny Pacquiao. I don't. Oh, it's okay. You know now then. All right, let's try. Up to speed.
Great. So before I do the ultimate test, the ultimate test is where I get her to go from the door. She's going to walk up, take a big smiley bow. We always tell students to smile. Even if you don't play well, you still have to smile because it shows that you love music, right? I don't think anyone wants to watch someone take a bow like this. They look like a zombie. They look so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I hate piano. Yeah, we don't want that. So we train all our kids, smile, good eye contact. Because it's like saying thank you, isn't it? Saying thank you for listening. And for the ultimate test, I want you to make sure your sound is stronger. Hop off of me. Because if you're playing this sentence, you want the... Avoid doing this. Where everything is soft except the accent. We don't want that. It doesn't sound good, right? It sounds... We want... I am smart. I'm not dumb. Say it. I am smart. I'm not dumb. Good. Now use your head, ready? I am smart. I'm not dumb. Go. I am smart. I'm not dumb. But then do it unnaturally. I am smart. smart. I'm not dumb. Go. I am smart. I'm dumb. See, it doesn't sound good, right? You don't want... So let's give it a try. Can you make it more natural? So I am smart. Everything louder. And head in at the end. Go. Watch that right hand. Avoid that. Don't smack that. It doesn't sound too nice. Right. From the left hand over here. Boom, boom, go. So you keep playing the same mistake. Do you know what the mistake is? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. So just control that sound better. So you're playing loud, but with your arm. Avoid hitting very hard. That's why you'll notice in our video lesson, sometimes you'll see us pushing the kids' arms. Ready, push my hand. See, yeah, <laughs> weak. Push, 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 yeah. So that's to get her hand stronger so she understands when you play loud, it's actually a push. A lot of students, they do it wrong, they attack. So attack my hand. And that's why the piano sounds ugly sometimes, right? That smash comes from that, right? But we want the push, ready? That's how you make a piano sound very good. You don't want grandpa going, oh, I'm deaf because of you. All right? You want to look after grandpa's ears, so make sure you push with your arm and body. All right, let's go to the door and walk up and take a bow at the camera. Ready? And go. Over here. Walk over here and take a bow. So that was an excellent performance, yeah? Very in time, even semi-quavers, and the dynamics came out, which is what Shostakovich is all about. Big high five. Now, as long as you play like that, I don't care what the result is, as long as you play like that, I'll be very happy, yeah? But if you don't play like that, then I'll be grumpy. Yeah. Grumpy. <sighs> You're scared, aren't you? You better be scared. I'll be as grumpy as this turtle. Grumpy. <laughs> he looks so happy. He looks so happy. Yeah. He looks so happy. Okay, if it's upside down, the smile becomes a angry face. <laughs> he looks like a sad face. Yeah, now it's a sad face. Yeah, that'll be me if you don't play well. Yeah. So do your best. Don't slack off. Always do three times low with the score, and two times fast. Yeah, so don't get lazy with that. YouTube is watching. Yeah.
And moving on, we've got a new piece, Sonatine by Bender. Let's take that one out. Can I get some more? Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a try. So you'll notice that she's counting out loud. Loud, okay? And why do we do that? It's because we really want these kids thinking. Especially those boy students, right? They don't like to count out loud. A lot of them, right? <laughs> Gavin likes to. Does he? That's really good. Yeah, a lot of boys, I think they're just impatient. And then some of the more energetic girls. But we've got to control them and let them know you have to count out loud because we want them to use their brain. What happens is if you don't count out loud and you get to a hard spot, you're actually not counting. Right, you'll go one and one and two, so you actually don't get it in time, and that's not good. You want to make sure the kids can count by themselves after grade five. That's why you notice a lot of kids, they will finish grade five and they still can't count properly. It's crazy, and teachers will have to solve all the rhythms still. That's crazy, right, Andrine? Do you want to be grade six and still don't know how to count? No. No, you want to be able to do it by yourself. Self. Okay, so let's go from the very beginning and I want you to do something called the wave. Ready? Do this. Yeah. More octopus, ready? Octopus. Yeah, I like your dance moves. Great. <laughs> Stand on my right. So why octopus? Well you've got these arpeggiations and I'm gonna draw a line through it. So it's like a wave, right? Ready? And say one and two and one. Now if you don't do the wave, what might happen, in fact what will probably happen is this, one and two and one, listen again, what do you think happened Andrew? You know what, made one note louder than the other. Mm, I smacked a note, when you... smack, yeah, when you've been, <laughs> when you've been smack. very very naughty, <laughs> yeah, so how do we avoid that is we do the, the octopus, oh, octopus. Yeah, because by pushing with your arm, it stops that impact, right? Another trick I do is I don't use the whole thumb. I use the very tip. tip. Watch this. So I use the tip. So, Andrew, reach your right hand over, and I want you to push my wrist up before I land. Good. Ready? Again. A bit too quick. Again. Yeah. And that stops me from smacking. Why does the one naturally accent? It's because, look at my fingers. This one is so fat. Look, skinny, 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 fat. Skinny, skinny, fat. Skinny, fat. You see? So how do you avoid these fat fingers from landing so hard? You've got to use that octopus. Yeah. So let's see if Andreen can do the octopus. Shame I don't have an octopus for it. That'll be even funnier. Let's try. Ready? Go. And two, and two, and one. Good. Now we can do a 
little more naturally, right? So just in the air, do this. Pretend you're playing and do this. Yeah, what you sort of did, Andrew. Watch this, right? You went one and <laughs> it's like you saw a fly. <laughs> so not too exaggerated, right? So make it more natural. Let's try one more time. Go. One, two, and one. Good. Now as a teacher, I can help her out, right? I can grab her two arms, play. One and two. Yeah, so I can do the motion for her. Try again. One and two. Oh, what? <laughs> Now she's got the motion, I'm going to zip my lip, hands behind my back, you do it yourself. You forgot to do the wave, so use your body as well. Try. rest off exactly on beat two. Show me. Very important, okay? You have to go one and two. And so watch me, ready? One, uh, one and two, and one and two. And exactly on beat two. Say so one and two. And count for me, go. One and two. And Good, now the ultimate test, the crocodile game, okay? The crocodile will attack on beat two. Ready, go. One and two and good. And now one more time and keep going. One and two and one and two. 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 One and two point doing the wave if we play wrong notes okay so we're going to drill with her the hard spot bar 25 all the way to bar 29 okay exactly here and you have to do it five times in a row without any mistakes if you make a mistake what's going to happen you have to do it again yes of course you have to do it again but there has to be a punishment right so your punishment is to run to that door Run to that wall and come back. <laughs> yes. Music lessons are mean. We torture the kids by making them run. Do you feel scared? No. Oh. I like running. Oh, she likes running. Okay. <laughs> I see. My punishment is not severe enough. Okay. You have to run to the wall, do a chicken dance, and then come back. Ha, <laughs> now I she's like scared. <laughs> she likes chicken dance. I like chicken wings. All right, let's go. Ready? <sighs> Oh, you didn't do the wave, run to the door, run to the wall, I mean. Alright, I said run! Alright, now do a chicken and a run, go! Alright, and then, <laughs> nice running. <laughs> Again, go, I want it five times. Oh, try, go. Okay, very good, but that's one time. She has four more times. Alright, can she do it? Let's go. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. Oh, mistake. Ha ha. Ha ha. Run. And chicken. Say ba ba ba. Alright, and then again. Try to not have mistakes, yeah? Let's go. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. One time, four more times. Let's do it quick. Yeah, go. One, two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one. Okay, very good. Two times. Now, 
three more to go. Can she do it? Let's try. One, one, two. Is it two more? Okay, let's try again. Two more times left. Can she do it? Okay, now the last time. Now, if you do it very well, I have an extra reward for you. You get you. You get it. You get to hug this fat dog, okay? <laughs> it's actually meant to be a dog. <laughs> Alright, let's try. You get to hug the dog. Okay? Ready, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, yay! yay. Oh, you get to hug the dog. Yes, but you can't keep it, okay? I <laughs> Don't take it home. <laughs> Alright, nice. Good job. It's so fat. Yeah, so fat. <laughs> so fat and cuddly. All right, and let's keep going now. So I'm happy with this. Let's go one more time. We keep going. Some notes. So this is meant to be F, not F sharp. How dare you play F sharp? So it's F. Let's go from here. Soft. Okay. Now, what did I say this one has to be? F. Okay. You made the same mistake twice now. I'm not happy. Which is why there will be a punishment now. Every time she makes a wrong note, Peppa Pig is going to on your hand. <laughs> if you keep making the same mistake, it's gonna on your head. Right? But if you do it all correct, then you can on my head. Yeah. Just don't go to school and do it, okay? You can only do it at piano lessons. <laughs> don't go to school and start doing that to your teachers. Then you, they will say, where do you learn this inappropriate behavior? Then you say, from my piano teacher. <laughs> okay, let's go from there. F, not F sharp. Ready, go. Oh, mistake. Oh. Ready to go. F, 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 F. Oh, you played F sharp, so it's all F. So let's do it slow. When you're fixing mistakes, we always do it slow, yeah? Let's try again. Go. One, F, two, F, one, F, two, F. Oh, all right. Now, what can we do to help ourselves? Go even slower and look at the book. Yeah, the book. Ready, go. One and two and one and two and one. All right, so you're getting stuck with which hand? The right hand, right? Because of this annoying squeeze. We're going to squeeze here, right? So I want you to practice that. Maybe you can use two. So we change that D to a finger two. Let's give that a try. Watch this. So I'll demonstrate. Give it a try. One, three, one. Say the fingers out loud. Go. One, 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 three, one. Three, one. Got one, 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 three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two three, three, one, two. And an F. Three, four, five, five four. four. the same thing another five times no mistakes peppa pig is watching you okay you should be terrified are you terrified you have such a big nose <laughs> yeah, that's mean to comment about her nose she's a pig of course her nose is, his nose is big all right let's go right hand go one three one It's meant to be F, not F sharp. Alright, Peppa Pig is getting angrier and angrier. I want no mistakes. I want no mistakes. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five
Audience, do you see what she's doing wrong? She kept looking down. All right, do we want to do that? No. 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 Okay, again, no looking down. Peppa Pig is watching. Go. One, one, three, one, two, one, three, uh, two, three, three, one, two, three, so three, four, one, two, five. So I'm going to draw eyeballs, yeah? Just to help you out, you gotta remember these F's. So again. But now you don't have to say the fingering out loud. Go. Like this. Yep. Two and one and two and. Let's try. Oh, gee. Why do you keep like that? Two and one. It's the same as that, yeah? Keep making the same mistakes. We drill to not make mistakes, not make the same mistake. Yeah. Okay. Let's focus now. Focus. Ready? Go. Two. Two M. Yeah. Two M. Do it another four times. Go. Good. And again, go. Do it well, you get a pat, 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 pat on the nose. Ready? <laughs> and go. One, two, two, and one, and one, two, and one, and two. And one, two. Okay, very good. Pat. All right. And moving on. So make sure you fix that at home. Keep going. You lost. Like from here? Yes. Why do you look like you lost? Over here, hop up. I want you to slur pretty. Pretty slow. So, I want you to grab my hand and push it from here upwards. Good. Ready, push, go. All right, now ready? Get ready to push my arm up. Good, thank you, Andrew. One and two and one and two. Good, so visualize the motion. Yep, you can even pretend to be a cat because it's like a cat, right? Yeah, you can pretend to scratch yourself like a cat. Good. And say meow. Meow. Alright, now hop on. And let's go from here. Let's practice the cat. One. One. And two. And one. And two. Good. Oh, I 
I like it. Wow, she's actually a cat. She's secretly a cat. Don't worry. Shh. Yeah. We won't tell anyone. Yes. Don't meow too loud, or people will find out. Let's go from here. Go. One and two and one. And two. Keep going. One. you to add is a slur from the F A to the E G sharp. Good. Now watch this. Two and one. Two and one. Ready? Join us. Two and one. Good. Again. Two, two and one. one. Very nice. Now with the chill. Two and one. Two and one. didn't join. What? You missed the C sharp. Yes. Good. Now, if you're at home, what's a good way to practice? Five times slow. And five times fast. Good. Yeah. Good students practice slow. Bad students just practice fast. Or sometimes they don't practice. <laughs> so, yeah. Bad students just play fast and Sometimes don't practice. But good students play slow and practice. So slowly. Two and one. Two and one. Let's give it a try. Slow. Two. Two. Go. Two and two and one. So remember, Andrew, we're fixing two mistakes. The first one is the C sharp. sharp. The second one is the thing. Fingering. Okay, and you have to join the nose. Two mistakes. I'm watching you. Look at me. I'm watching you. You scared? Yes, she's scared. Yeah, look at the camera. She's scared. Yeah, she, nod your head. You're so scared. Oh, she's not. <laughs> she's like, she's doing the opposite of nodding. All right, let's go from here. Da 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 dum. Go. Good. And again. Okay, now. Can you play from bar 41 and still get the true correct? Ready? Go. One and one and two and one and two and two and one and two five. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You can drill that one spot, it's really good. But the moment you start from the bar in front, it becomes not good. So always test yourself by playing from beginning of that, yeah, from before that. So let's try again, get it really good. So you still didn't fix the two mistakes, yeah? Mm. So you got tricked. Let's try again, go. Don't get tricked. Ready? One and two and one and two and one. So this is what we call dotted rhythm. This is a dotted quaver rest. One and that two. One and that two. Yeah. One and that two. Ready? Look at the camera. One and that two. Go. One and that two. No, no, two punches. One and two. Go. One and two. One, okay. one right, and right, two. Right, right, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Ready? One and that two. Again, one, one and, and a two. two. Good. Now it's double, right? So it's one and a two and da da. Ready? Go. One, one and, and a two, two and da da. Okay. Ready? Look at me. One and <laughs> wrong way, wait, wrong way. Ready? This one goes that one first. Ready? One and two and da one. Okay. One time go. One and a two and da one. Go okay, and again. One and a two. <laughs> you slow, right? Too slow, right? One and a two. Wait right, again. One and a two and da one. No. Say it out loud. Ready? One, one and a two. two. Good. And, and a one. one. Ready? Go. One, one and, and a. No. <laughs> try, try. One, 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 one and a. Yeah. One and a two and a one. Say it. Go. One and a two. One and a two and a one. Say it. One and a. Not too early. One and a two and a one. There we go. Again. 
one, one, one and down two, right, one and down two and down one. All right, ready? Again, go. One and down two and down one. There we go. One more time. You got it. You got it. One more time. Go. One and one and down two and down one. Okay, now let's do something very funny. At the very end, you have to duck like this. Ready? Look at the camera and do this. Okay, uh, uh, closer together and do this. Duck. Good. Okay, and what's going to happen is I'm going to put my hand over your head. So that's what they do in, the, in boxing, where they duck underneath the pads. So pretend, pretend your hands are up. Okay, ready? Duck, duck underneath. <laughs> like this, right? Underneath. Yeah, ready? Roll under my hand. Ready? Roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, right? Ready? Say out loud. One, one and duck. Uh, two, two and duck. Uh, uh, one and duck. Yeah, now faster go. One, one wait, <laughs> one, one, wait, one, one and duck. Uh, two. And uh, one. one and duck. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, so out loud on the piano. One and uh, two and uh, one. Let's try. One and one and uh, one. One and duck uh, two and uh, one. Okay. One, one and duck two and uh, one. Very good. Then the next thing I want to work on is your fingering on the right hand. So do this. So you got this part right. Try one five one four. Good. Now you got small hands, right? So push more with your arm. Yeah, more so. But you're too aggressive. You're too violent. Yeah? Too aggressive, right? So yeah, more nice. Good. Now here's the hard part because you gotta hold that finger one and go over to two five. So ready? Da da. Now over, then two five. One four. Oh, difficult. Now roll. Good. And again. Now roll. And one and da. Good. Now say it slowly. One and da two and da one. Let's go. One, one and da two and da one. Zip my lip. You do it yourself. One and a two and a one. One and a two and a one. One and a two and a one. And again. One and a two and a one. One and a two and a one. One and a two and a one. One and a two and a. Okay, I like it. Not bad at all. Now, left hand. One and two and one. Go. One and one and two and one. There's a better fingering than that. So use two than one. It will seem annoying, but it will help you later because you can join these. Do your left hand. Now with the right fingering. One and two. So two than one. One, wait, wait, wait. Say it out loud. One, one. and down two, and down one, and good. Now keep going, looking at the score. One. You're gone already. One. One. So now try again. One, one and snap one again. One, one and down two, two, and down one, and, and, and two, two, and two, and one. So I'll actually take this drilling spot a, a notch further. We're going to go to here. And separate hands is your best friend. Not both hands, okay? Both hands is your enemy. Separate hands is your friend, okay? Both hands is your what? Enemy. Good. Yeah? But separate hands is your? Friend. Why? Because it helps us do it, like, more, more correct. Exactly, yeah. It's very unlikely you'll be practicing many times both hands and get it right. But it'll be very likely you'll get it right if you just do that right hand. It's so much easier, right? And just do that left hand and then chuck it together. A lot of kids are impatient, right? They don't want to do separate hands. They think, I'm super, super woman. I don't need separate hands. But they do. So let's do the left hand. Go. One and a two. Oh, your finger. One and a two and a one. And Two and one and one and two. Uh, 
Why is your fingering wrong? Just look at the fingers. I even put it in for you. First note is what? But is that what I wrote? I mean... Yeah? Now, do we want to just play or count? Count. So one, one and... One and two and... One and two and... Two and, one, and two okay. and... Okay. Now, I notice you use five instead of four. That's okay, since your hands are small. Okay? But if you've got bigger hands, probably the four is easier. Now, let's do right hand. One and two and one and two and one and two and one. Let's go. One and one and two and one and two and two one and two one. Two and, two and, and one. Okay. Two and, and one. Yep. Yeah, so ready? Like this. One and two and one. together. you notice I keep escaping, it's not because I'm trying to hide, it's because I'm writing her lesson notes, which I email to her mum every week, and then mum and her will make sure all the mistakes are fixed. And then we even record the whole lesson. So we actually ask the parents to record the whole lesson. We have a, a phone stand right there, you can see it. And that way, there's no excuse if there's nothing fixed. Oh. Now, but it's also very good for a parent and a student. There might be some spots you forgot how to play, so just re-watch the lesson recording. Okay, give them a big wave and a peace sign. Peace. 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 Like this. Peace. 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 peace.